Damian Lillard's one of the most fun players to watch in the league. He's explosive, but the way he gets that separation is like a chess game with his defender. And to have that type of mastery, it comes from a ton of intensely focused practice. So I'll show you a few ways you can start to get these separation moves into your game. So we'll start off close to the basket, getting a few key pieces warmed up. First we'll learn how to get the ball into that shot pocket fast. Watch here how Dame gets that dribble directly into a great position to shoot from. It seems simple, but it's one of the toughest things to do at high speeds. So on this drill you'll pound the ball hard, bringing it directly into your shot pocket, or the ideal position to shoot it from. You'll knock down two from each hand, from close to the basket, then step back and do the same in the mid range, then step back one last time to your three point line. Watching Dame, you'll also see that he plays a ton out of what I call glides, where you're hanging the ball in an athletic stance. Having good ball control in this position gives you way more options, and also makes it much easier to get into that shot out of it. Really pound the ball and work on that ball control, as well as being explosive and confident with that glide. We'll go full court and back between the legs, then repeat it going behind the back. Now we'll work on getting that shot pocket at a little bit more game speed. You'll go three straight between the legs dribbles, mimicking that pick up into the shot pocket each time. Watch how on the third time, I'm in the perfect position to shoot, so I pull the jumper. We go five makes from each hand, and then repeat it with behind the back. This behind the back one may be slightly harder, but just make sure to push yourself. Be okay with being uncomfortable. Also, when you're traveling laterally at high speeds, the move or the shot won't be effective if you can't balance. Some of this comes from work in the weight room and other factors on the performance side, but we can work on it on court too. This is a perfect drill for that. First, you'll pound it a few times as you pick up the opposite foot. Then sidestep out with that foot, balance, and knock it down. You'll make five here. Then obviously knock out the other side. Watch how well I get on balance off of this sidestep. Then to progress it, you won't lift that foot as high at first. You'll just get directly into that sidestep, balance, and shoot it. Five each way on this progression. Now that we worked on the balance, we can progress into being a little bit more explosive and getting that separation on the move. Most of the time, you literally only have one step to get away from your defender here. So that one step has to be powerful and cover ground. How we'll do this is setting up two cones a few feet away. Start by handling the ball in place, then from the outside of the first cone, get all the way to that second cone with the outside foot. The lower you get, the more ground you'll cover here. Still focusing on that balance, we'll make 10 each win. Another thing that Dame does a ton is playing around with heights and speeds into a shot. Oh, oh my. Damien, hey, draws a foul. One-on-one -on -one with Joe Ingles on a step back. For this drill, we'll give two relaxed high dribbles, then drop low quick and scissor your feet into two high-paced attack dribbles. Stand back up into these slow dribbles, then repeat. On the third time, shoot out of it. You make 10 each way here. Finally, we'll rep out that signature pound step of Dane. Start with that slow dribble, and next thing you know, boom, get in that shot. Look at this one, Kevin. He's at third quarter. Blow it for three. Watch how I split my feet here to throw off the defender, then get on balance as I'm getting into that shot. Do this first going to your weak hand. So for example, I'm right-handed, so I'll go to my left. It should be easier this way. And then when you go to your strong side, you'll separate a little bit more laterally. Create separation, get on balance, and make 10 each shot, each win. And then to finish it off, we'll shoot the same shots in transition. Five each way from the top of the key. So obviously, like I always say, these few drills aren't going to make you Damian Lillard with the separation move. There are so many pieces to a player's game that these drills will really just introduce you into shooting that shot. But with time and a ton of practice, you'll find yourself way more comfortable getting separation from your defender. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and also check back every Wednesday and Sunday for new videos.